Um, do you think Tony Khan has done more to help wrestling in the last five years, or has he done more to hurt wrestling in the last five years? I think he's done a bunch of... I think he's only done things to help wrestling. It's just the goofs in his company fucking knock it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking... I'm not going to sit here and defend it, but it's like Goldstein fucking... <laughs> God damn, sorry. Who? What's her name? Big Swole. Big Small. Yeah, like fucking Goldstein is the right thing. You know what I'm saying? She was Oh, ass. no. So... <laughs> oh, you future endeavor okay. them, bro. Tell me about tell me your top three favorite moments from Britt ba- Baker versus Big Swole and that fucking. I mean zero zero. Office, Big Swole's the shits, bro. Like I never liked her. I she was never Thank over you. with me. <laughs> the only thing over with right. me was her fucking entrance music, but the and like her so, look and her right. physique yeah, is yeah, great. Yeah. But she just she's not the yeah. best worker. But it's like you can work on those things. But um, sorry, you go ahead. You go ahead. Her entrance music was sick. Yeah. Um. No, okay, so, like, that's what I'm getting at. It's, like, Tony's technically not doing things to hurt the fucking business. You right. know, it's the fucking He's trying. The dipshits. Yeah, yeah, he is trying. Yeah. It's, like, his friends. It's, like, who It's like who you surround yourself with, you know? When I was younger, I right. used to surround myself with fucking idiots, and then people thought I was a fucking idiot, and I had to always be, like, no, I wasn't. I'm not a fucking idiot. But then you realize, oh, dude, you are the company you keep. It's, like, imagine you hang right. out with... Imagine yep. you hang out with crackheads all day and then you're like, oh, no, they're crack. I don't smoke crack. Everyone's going to think you smoke crack, motherfucker. You know what I mean? So it's like it's yep. like Tony's just surrounded by shit that like, I, OK, so maybe let me pose this question and this is going to drum the shit up. Holy fuck. Have the young bucks done more to hurt professional wrestling in the last five years than they have to help professional <laughs> wrestling in your opinion? <laughs> you just want to listen to me shit at them. No, yeah, I'm asking a serious man. question. Young Bucks hurt wrestling. So you think Tony yeah, Khan has, has done more to help wrestling, and then you think, but Tony, uh, the Young Bucks and the people he's surrounded with have done more to hurt wrestling. Well, okay, how have they not? Like, example A, CM Punk gives them their biggest house. They're crying on Twitter. It's all like, you guys, your business just had, it's a big, the company that you are a fucking CEO or whatever the fuck you are, your company just had its biggest house, and you're crying. On fucking X, formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> fucking outlandish, dog. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. yeah, I mean, my opinion on that, I guess, would just be, I think Tony Khan is a really good dude who gets shit on. Like, I don't know him personally, but I think he gets shit on where he shouldn't be. And he's taken a lot of heat for people who are infamously in wrestling. Money Mark, people will just say yes and get the check. It's all the work, brother, you know? So Arn Anderson... Right. You know, <laughs> is gonna take that check, not say shit, and not you know. And I don't That's blame crazy. him. He, he 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 earned his right uh, though to do that. But also, you know, there is where like when CM Punk went off on Hangman, he was like, "Dude, if Terry Funk comes up to you in a locker room and says something to you that you need to listen to that, how stupid are you to think that y- you shouldn't right. do that?" Now, here's the thing: when he says Terry yeah, Funk. That's how they all- obviously terry funk didn't go up to anybody so what punk was doing was using an analogy but what that analogy is is that means like another old timer backstage told punk like no i tried to go up to this guy probably right like it's probably arns tried to tell people and they don't want to listen so instead of rock the boat he's gonna get his kid some experience he's gonna get both of them paid and then he knows Brock will go to NXT one day and shit, you know, like he knows it. Like, I don't know, man. I just think that uh, Tony Khan has done more to help wrestling definitely. And then the Bucks, man, I don't want to, I don't want to shit on them, man. Cause I think they've done a lot to help. Give me some the, examples. Like, man, the fact of just the, how they took the bullet club and help, help expand it to this thing all in like that was a Jim Cornette says it the best you know he's like yo the fans fucking will it into existence like that's what happened with Wembley they willed Wembley into existence you know like it's gonna they Jim Cornette just said on his last podcast he said it the best he's like they could they could get in the ring at Wembley drop trout take a shit and roast marshmallows he's like and the crowd will cheer and say it's good because they have like willed this thing into existence. They just want it to be like a happening. It's a thing. And I just think that Yeah, he's so right though. He is, man. And that's the best way to describe it. And I just think like to to be able to create that is something important and valuable in any medium. 
in any form of entertainment, including pro wrestling. But I think they've squandered it though. Like that's the thing they, and with Wembley, they have the, they had the opportunity to put a card on for the ages and instead name one match you're excited for on Wembley. I'm not excited. Maybe Joe punk, but that's like a Mark fucking, nah, like, no, I'm not no, no, excited. And like was, FTR bucks, what should have happened a year we ago. When, like we just had CM punk versus fucking Joe like a week ago. Yeah. And like, and like FTR versus Bucks should have happened so long ago to where the intrigues just worn off. That's and, gross. 